Today I'm going to talk about Roman Polanski's psychological horror film, Repulsion. A really powerful piece of cinema which I can really see the forceful imprint it's left on modern filmmakers. A film that really gets inside the mind of a character and it literally starts and ends with a close-up of an eye. The film is about a shy young woman, Carol, played by Catherine Denview. She works as a manicurist in London and she feels strongly repulsed by men, but at the same time they somewhat fascinate her. She shares a flat with her sister Helen and has a strong dislike for her sister's lover Michael. Helen and Michael then go on holiday and leave Carol alone in the flat. Once Carol is by herself, she sinks deeply into madness and she starts having paranoid hallucinations. Some of these sequences are so twisted and terrifying that it really tiptoes the line between dreams and reality. These aren't just random hallucinations, they're actually really reflective of her character. There are men's hands bursting at the walls, trying to grope her. She fantasises about her own rape. One part reminds me very much of Dario Gento's film Suspiria. As both films, the walls get torn apart, perhaps the reflection of a scarred mind. The flat itself is in a complete mess, there is also a dead rotting rabbit sitting there. These sequences are edited really effectively. And I really like the way that Polanski used a lot of isolated and heightened sounds. Like he would use the dripping of a tap or a clicking of a clock for some of the intense hallucinations. And you would hear nothing more than that. But the thing that makes all this convincing is Catherine Denview's intense performance to all these bizarre events in her claustrophobic flat. A huge departure is in the first half she does have a strange nature about her. But she underplays it and wanders about as if almost hypnotised. At one point there is even a car crash and she just wanders past it as if nothing happened. It tells a lot about her character and her disconnect to the rest of the world. Like I said before, you can definitely see the imprint that it's left on the films after it. I have a few examples, but I'm sure there are many more filmmakers that have been influenced by it. Carol reminds me a lot of the Travis Bickle character in Martin Scorsese's Taxi Driver. They're both quiet characters and you're not really sure what they're thinking and what they're going to do next. He was disgusted about the world around him and she was disgusted by male's dominance in society. Some of the really surreal moments could have been taken straight out of a film like David Lynch's Razorhead. Also, Henry's constant paranoia and fear of the world around him mirrors this character. The film also reminded me very much of Darren Aronofsky's film Pi. The way that they lock themselves away from the outside world and are repulsed by sex. And actually another Aronofsky film, Black Swan, a film with another female character gradually losing her grip on reality. The film would however put a lot of people off. The first half of the film is really slow. Not much happens. It is mainly just Carol going about her day-to-day -day life. I do think it's a very deliberate choice though. I think of it as the first half being how people view her. When she's out in public, she is out of her safe zone. She feels the need to stay low key and not draw any attention to her. The second half is seeing inside her mind, her thoughts, what makes her tick. Her flat is her safe zone, so that is the only time when she can let out all these horrifying thoughts and ideas that build up over the course of the day. I also say it can get quite deadly if intruders go into her safe zone. That's all I'll say about that. Brilliant film. I don't think I have anything else to say, so thanks for listening.